doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You've been out all night. No. Just part of it. Well, where have you been? Now, what has that got to do with you? You use my flipping window. Because mine's too high. All right, I'll pay you back. Are they up or what? You're off your head, you know that. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. You're up early, that's all. So? It's all right. I thought you jumped to the same wild conclusion, Karen. Well, not all my conclusions are so wild, are they? I didn't imagine Bex disappearing. So under the circumstances, I'd say my concern was fairly rational, wouldn't you? Did you go? Oh, Sarah, you've got to. It'll be okay. I know it's 99% going to be fine, but just in case... I am not pregnant. I can't be. You don't know about women's cycles and that. It's not even possible at this time of the month. You sure? Yeah. Oh, hi, Josh. You all right? Um, I just thought I'd give you a pen back like you me. It's fine, you can keep it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right, Finn. Jesus. He likes me. It's a sign. Well, it looks pretty much like a pen to me, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, he gave it to me. He, well, yeah, cos he couldn't be bothered taking it back. But there's a difference. I mean, look, he's not exactly eyeing you up, is it? Yeah, but he's just playing it cool. Hiya. You've got a few more complaints from parents about the new initiative. Then deal with them. If they're written to you personally, though. I'd pass them on to whoever was managing the scheme, as with any other school initiative. Right. Chris, I asked you to manage the sexual health awareness scheme because you're the deputy head and you have the authority and the sensitivity to deal with it. Yeah, I understand that, but I can't deny that I've got sympathy with the parents. Giving the morning after pill to their children without their knowledge, I don't think I'd be happy. Then get over it. The whole point of the scheme is confidentiality. If the pupils think their parents are going to be informed, they won't bother with it. Why do you think there's so many teenage pregnancies? I agree there needs to be an element of confidentiality, but it's not as straightforward as that. Chris, the pupils need to know that the facility works for them without the teacher standing in judgment. So shall we go and rally the troops? OK. Just stand out as many as you can before the bell. Don't you think I'm going to look like a bit of an hypocrite? No, just the opposite. You'll be a reminder of what can happen if you're not careful. I mean, you know, if you didn't want a baby, which you obviously do. It's just a visual image. OK? Right. Yeah, guys, we're getting leaflets. It's for a new service that we started that morning after Pearl. Well, the boys can have one as well. Come on, come and get them. There we go. You have one. Hey, don't be shy. Don't want to get cut short. Look at me, eh? Do you know, that's an awful thing to say about your baby. I was only saying. Oh, do you should have taken the morning after pill? Denise, you should think yourself very lucky and blessed that you're expecting. 72 hours, it says. We've still got time. I don't get it. You said you'd be OK. It was my first time, OK? I don't need all this. Hey, hey, that's all right. You should have said. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you wouldn't like me. In case you thought I was a little girl. So please, I'd be too ashamed. Look, it was an accident, yeah? 
and my fault. So I'll come with you. Hey. Charlie, I'm busy. Look, it was a thing okay. It's just that Maria says you're not answering your calls. We're still on my business. Have you forgotten that your wife is my boss? I have to talk to her on a daily basis and she's not stupid. Jessica, as Karen says something. She's been acting strangely all week. I need to know. And why don't you ask her for yourself? Maybe if you two communicated a bit more, you wouldn't be in this position. Oh, come on, babe, please, just this once. Oh, but it's not just this once, though, is it? Well, I know, Fan, you've already got the morning after pill from the chemist once this week. Exactly. And that's why I need this. I've run out of money now, and I'm running out of time too. Well, so, go go with it yourself. Yeah, all right then. And the nurse tells my mum, or Mr Mead, I think you can see my problem, Vicky. Yeah, Jess, your problem. Oh, Vicky, come on, please. He's supposed to be my mate. I really like this guy. No, you're crazy. Whatever. Just help me out today, will you? Well, is that a yeah? If you're sexually active, you've got to start thinking about using the right protection. Condoms won't just protect you from getting pregnant. You've got to think about STIs. Right. Yeah, I will. So, if you just give me the pill and it won't happen again. To be blunt, Vicky, do you really know where your boyfriend's been? Who else he's been with? Uh, yeah. Yep. Do you actually have a boyfriend? Or was it just a one night stand sort of thing? Um, oh no I do. And he's, yeah he's fine. You know. Take this. Actually, I'm, I'm going to have it later. I'd rather you took it now, just to be on the safe side. Oh, well, I haven't had anything to eat. That shouldn't matter. Are you actually here on your own behalf, Vicky? I can't tell you how dangerous and irresponsible this is. Can I ask? Why your friend couldn't come and see me herself? Take care, love. Thanks. Oh, hi, Becky. Hi, uh, listen, I'm drafting a letter to some concerned parents. Can I pick your brains about the details of the scheme from your end? Oh, my God. Yeah, sure. Chill. Let me just finish up here. Oh, yeah, OK. I'll come back at break time when you clear. Yeah, great. Right, who's next? Me. And quietly. Mrs. Fisher, uh, can I have a quick word? Hi. Come on, come on. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry about this morning. I had no right to criticise. No. No, you didn't. I, I just find it so... I know it affects us. You know, put a distance between us. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard on all of us. Jess and Harry as well. We've got the whole family to consider in all of this. It just eats me up. I'm wanting to be a unit, but everyone's so disparate. given up. I don't know. Well, I think it's made your mind up time, don't you? Anyway, get back to work. I think that she needs to come and see me. 
Try and reassure her. I'll explain all the facts, but she really shouldn't leave it to chance. Look, what if I promise I'll watch her take it myself? I'm sorry, I just can't give it to you. We want to make sure that we let the kids know that the morning after pill isn't the whole story, so I was hoping that you could touch on it in your PSHCE class. Oh, shouldn't be too difficult. We're doing STIs today. Oh, lucky you. You can always take over for me if you're jealous. Sorry. Important paperwork. I can explain. Don't bother. I think I can figure it out. Drug dealing now, is it? No. I knew you had a chance of it. I didn't think you were stupid. What's going on? Looks like you forgot to lock the door. Caught him thieving. I only need to get some water. I wasn't trying to steal anything. And you? I thought I already told All you. All I wanted was one pill. Look, I, uh, I think I know what's going on here. How come you can only get it if you're a girl? What if I don't want a baby? Well, stealing isn't the answer. What else was I supposed to do? We've only got a few hours left. If she doesn't want to take it, you can't make her own it. Oh, you make her then. I can't put pressure on Sarah, nor can Mr Mead. She has every right to her own decision. It's her body. Well, what about my rights? I hear what you're saying, Ronan, but... this is the kind of situation where it'd be helpful if Sarah's parents were involved. Well, you know that's not an option. Look, I do sympathise, Ronan. It's a complex issue. Look, if you can't persuade her to talk to her parents or the nurse and get her to come to myself or Mr Mead, it won't go any further. Yeah, right. But I can't let you off trying to steal potentially dangerous medication under any circumstances. Hello, Mrs Evans. Yeah, my name's Mr Mead. I'm running the Sexual Health Awareness Scheme. Yeah. The thing is, your daughter's boyfriend's been in to see me this morning. Did you even try? Yeah, I did try. I had to sit there where she was banging on about STIs and all sorts. Yeah, well, I would have done the same thing for you too, Vicky. Only I would have done it properly. How could have, Jess? She wanted me to take them right then and there. Well, you could have made up an excuse or something, or you could have pretended to take them. But no, you just caved easily. Do you know what? I don't believe you. You should be grateful. I mean, you got yourself into this mess. Well, excuse me, but who do you think you are to judge me? I'm not the one dancing around a pole in my knickers. You know, but I only did that because I needed the money. Yeah, well, we both know what that makes you then, don't we? You've got a nerve, Jess. Show what? You're on your own. Fine! No. Oh. Actually, except you're not on your own, though, are you? What is if you slept with uh, 14 blokes recently and you've got the nerve to call me? Hey! Hey, what's going on? Are you OK? What is going on? What do you care, eh? You can't go round hitting people, Jess. Oh, yes, you can. Cos she thinks she can do everything, stupid little cow. Shut your mouth, Vicky! Huh? Cos it's true. You go out clubbing every night, bringing random blokes home, and you expect me to cover for you? I said shut your mouth. All right, now that is enough. Do you know what? You're just jealous of me. Jealous of what? You're a skank. Mr. Me. Chris. It's not like how she's making her If you and Vicky have got a personal problem, then that's your issue. But if I catch you hitting anyone again, I'll make sure you're excluded. Chris, security won't you? I think there's a parent at the gate. Well, can't someone else do it? She was asking for you. It's the mighty face, I think she said.
Look, we're all the same. So was I. So was every teacher in this school, boys and girls. Everyone has been, or is, or will be embarrassed because we don't talk about sex. But the stark truth is, is that anyone that's having sex or thinking about having sex has to be equipped with one of these. <laughs> because the condom is king. <laughs> What's a condom? Oh, don't worry about that, mate. You need to have sex to catch that. Shut up, I have had sex. Yeah? Never seen you with a girlfriend. Because it was a while ago. What about now? I mean, you're a good-looking guy. I know you shower regularly. Must be someone you've got your eye on. Yeah, I suppose. Who? Not Lauren. She's cute. Don't be daft, she don't like me anymore. Of course she does. Oh, look, she's giving you the eye now. Get in. It's working. Look. Yeah, we'll get your hopes up, babes. I assure you, there were letters sent out. Yes, you sent out lots of letters. But if I thought you were going to teach children to have sex behind their parents' back, I'd have replied by taking Sarah out of Waterloo Road, which I intend to do right now. What's going on? What isn't going on is more to the point. This is Claire Evans. It's Sarah's mum. No, sorry, I want to speak to the man who called me. The man running this scheme. Um, I'm the man running the scheme, but I didn't call you. Well, somebody did. And whoever it was told me just what's happening in this place. I want my daughter out. Can we talk about this calmly? I want to speak to Sarah now. If you just hang on one second, please, Mrs. Did Ed you call her after everything I said? Don't be ridiculous. I've got a pretty good idea who did. Listen, if you can't support this scheme, then let me talk to Mrs. Evans now. No, I'll handle it. I want to. OK, the facts. The UK has the highest teenage pregnancy rate in Western Europe. Oh, my good God! Mum, is this a school or a brothel? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on? Taking you home is what? This is a knee-jerk reaction, Mrs Evans. It's not going to help anyone. This is anyone. supposed to be a place of learning where your children are protected. That's exactly why this scheme's in place. So, is it true? Did your so-called boyfriend try and get you emergency contraception today? Well, I'd... maybe I... Why? No, but I didn't take it. And that's the problem that I think we should discuss. I know that you're upset. But I have to say, it's a little bit naive to think that, even with all the information out there... Oh, yes, well, obviously I am naive. Because I never imagined that Waterloo Road had practically encouraged my daughter to be promiscuous and then provide the necessary for any accidents. It's not the school's fault, Mum. So whose is it, then? Mine. Mine and Ronan's. You're not telling me it was your idea. We're not thrilled at the idea of our pupils being sexually active either. But we have to face facts. Teenage pregnancy has been a significant problem. Yes, in this school. And we need to do something about it. Then teach them about birth control. We did use birth control, only it broke. Oh, my God. This is the boy. Ronan, wait outside, please. No, this is about me and Sarah. Don't even say my daughter's name, you f Your daughter's ace, and I'd never do anything to hurt her. Look, we tried to do the right thing. The right thing would have been to keep your trousers on. Then Sarah was too nervous to go for the morning after. Nervous? Traumatised, more like. Please. Mum, he didn't make me do anything. I tried to get the pill for her, but no one would give it to me. I know. The man who called informed me. I don't think any man called you, Mrs Evans. I think a very worried teenager did. You know, nobody was going to do anything. And you pretty much said you were going to call Sarah's mum yourself if you could. Ronan did ask me for help earlier today, but I'm bound by strict guidelines. Does that include duping the parents? We would always urge the girl in question to seek parental advice, but we can't force them. And Sarah wouldn't even approach an adult here, so... I was scared you'd find out. <sighs> oh, right, look. Why don't you two wait outside in the office while we discuss this properly? Oh, 
tell you what's wrong. Come on, let's go inside. This scheme's been rather imposed on me, and I've had big reservations about it, but honestly, now, I'm starting to change my mind. And your daughter is one of the reasons why. I know you disapprove of our scheme, Mrs Evans, and I admit it isn't ideal. But this is a resource that Sarah needs now. That boy's got a lot to answer for. You know, Ronan tried to steal a pill for Sarah today. He earned himself a load of detention, all because he was trying to help her. And I don't imagine that it was easy for him to call you. But he did it for a reason. And if this initiative hadn't been in place, he wouldn't have even had that option. Come on, I'm going to see the nurse. Little word, yeah? You shouldn't have pretended to be me, Ronan. At least she's getting the pill, isn't she? So did I do right or wrong? There could have been serious consequences for Sarah. There still could. You don't even know what her relationship's like with her mum. Have a sit down. Look, I am not trying to judge you, Ronan, but you need to spare a thought for Sarah. Decisions about her own body, taken out of her hands like that. You think I'm not bothered about Sarah? Don't you get it? That's what all this is about. I don't want to be a dad. But I could always do the crap thing and just walk away. But what about her? I thought she was more experienced. She said she had a boyfriend before, but she lied, right? She was trying to act older than what she is. And now she can't handle it. And now I feel like that's totally my fault. This isn't about fault. I'm the one that had sex with her. So I can't just leave her to it. I'm all freaked out. My mum had me when she was a year older than Sarah. All I ever hear is what she could have done. I couldn't because I was there. And you know what? She was right. When I have a kid, I want to love it, not blame it. So I'm glad of what I did. can punish me, right? Sarah can hate me. My mum can call me whatever. But I know what I did was right. Isn't that what being a man's supposed to be all about? What do you mean you think she knows? She knows. Okay, well... Now we deal with it. I mean, we knew this was going to happen at some stage. Well, maybe we shouldn't see each other for a few weeks. Well, I see how the land lies. See how the land lies. Charlie, you told me you love me. I do, but I... I just hate hurting Karen. She doesn't deserve it. Neither do I. I just need to see things clearly, Maria. You know what's happened to my family this last year? Yeah, I do. Because I've been here for you. Comforting you, unlike your wife. Oh, she's hurting too. Yeah, we both know. But nobody was going to come out of this unscathed. Look, I am glad that she knows. No more lies. We move forward with dignity and... and we'll try to minimise the pain. This is what you wanted. Yeah, but it's not that simple, is it? My kids have been so traumatised. Well, I've got feelings too. And I've got kids. And they adore you. And if you're going to let them down, I think you should do it sooner rather than later. I don't want to let anyone down. Well, that, my love, isn't possible. So you're going to have to make a decision. Dessert. It's my favourite at the moment. 
Now you know what you should do? You eat um, five or six small meals a day instead of one big one and that's easier on your body, it stops indigestion. How oh, do you know all this? You're not even pregnant yet. I haven't got a motorbike either, but I know you're not supposed to fill the tank with treacle. I'm a cookery teacher. Health and nutrition, that's what I do. I just want it out, I mean, that's all. Yeah, you wait till it is out. You'll want it back inside. They only get bigger. Shut up, will ya? Yeah, I'm only teasing. You'll be fine. Hormones, eh? You needn't have worried about your mum finding out. This is a confidential resource. Right, OK. Um, could I just get the pill, please? In a way, I'm glad I did talk to your friend. I doubt you'd have told me yourself how many times you took the emergency contraception pill this week. Cheers, Vic. We don't recommend that you take it more than once in such a short space of time. Right, do you know what? I already know all of this. Fine. Take this. Next time, here's one of these. Today we're going to make banoffee pie. So go on then, mate. Ask her out. Not to where she can say. I don't know. Come on, are you gay or what? <laughs> you wish. How about you? Why don't you ask her out? <sighs> She's not really my type. Get in there, though, mate. Go on. <laughs> He's coming over. Mm, maybe he just wants his pen back. Uh, hi, sorry, John, your pen back. Uh, yeah, no one. Um, do you want to go out sometime? Hang out? Um, yeah, uh, why not? Cool. Oh my god, it actually just happened. <laughs> so? Yeah, it's a done deal. Smooth. You made it up with Vicky yet? You should, you know, you're good mates. <clears throat> Why was she saying all that stuff about you, Jess? I haven't told her about you, that's what you're worried about. Actually, it's not, no. I'm worried about you. Well, I thought you told me not to come to you anymore. I've come to you. I want to know what's going on. See, I saw Vicky in the nurse's office this morning and for what she said when you were arguing, I'm guessing that she wasn't there for herself. If you're not adult enough to go and get the morning after pill yourself, then you're not adult enough to be having sex in the first place. Um. I did go and get it for myself in the end, actually. And I don't need you to tell me. I've got a life. Just because you don't want me, there are plenty of people that do. So it is true what Vicky's saying about all... all these different blokes. Jess, do you know how dangerous that is? Don't worry. I've got good taste. I think you're unhappy. And I think that you should talk to your mum about it. You need to talk to someone. Just not you. Your mum needs to know. Leave her out of here. She'd be able to help you, Jess. If you breathe a word of this to my mum, I swear to God, I will tell her everything. All right, yeah. I see. I was wondering when all this would start. I mean it. And then you won't work here or anywhere else again, OK, Mr Mead? Is everything OK? I'm concerned about Jess. Oh, should we talk in my office? What's going on, Chris? Jess and Vicky had a barn the earlier. Yeah. Well, it seems that Jess isn't always where you think she is. What do you mean? I... 
I think that she may have lost her way a bit. What are you talking about? What's she done? Confidentiality means confidentiality, right? Yes. Then all I can say is that I'm concerned about her welfare and that I think you need to speak to her. Two, three, four, five, and don't even think about using it again, all right? Because I'll change the lock. Well, do it yourself, then. I'm trying to be helpful. I'm sorry. Please. I'm just in a really bad mood, Dad. I noticed. Did you and Vicky at a post stop? Uh, yeah. Turns out some people have got a problem understanding that different things make different people happy. Well, you don't look very happy. Well, you wouldn't understand. Try me. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so what do you do if you really like somebody and you kind of know that they like you or that they would like you if they gave it a chance? I guess we're not talking about Vicky now. Uh, I don't know, Jess. Just wait it out. You can't force someone to notice you. You just gotta be yourself and hope for the best. Yeah, but um, what if you just got the complete wrong idea about you and you've just made a, an idiot out of yourself and you just really, really wish that you hadn't have? Just tell the truth, I suppose. I could look with it anyway. Can I have a word? As what? A mom or a teacher? Both. Figures? Oh, come on. I thought we were getting closer. I thought we'd moved on. Yeah? I know it's hard to be my daughter in this school. So you say. I've always given you a lot of space, Jess. Especially... S Go on, say it. Especially since Bex went. What's this about, Mum? Look, I am sorry that I've been a little bit moody or whatever. I want to know why you fell out with Vicky. Why? What do you know about me and Vicky? Mr Mead was around when you had words and he was concerned. Well, what exactly did he say? Enough to worry me. He didn't betray your confidence, but he is concerned about your well-being. You should be grateful. He obviously cares about you. So what's going on, Jess? Are you sleeping around? That has got absolutely nothing to do with you, OK? I'm entitled to have boyfriends. Boyfriends. Plural. One that matters. So why haven't you brought him home? You can't turn me into the perfect daughter just because you screwed things up with Bex. I do my own thing. I go out. I am my own person. No, you are 16 and you're still my daughter. You are such a hypocrite, do you know that? All you ever go on about here is empowering people and, and people running their own lives and stuff, what with this morning after pill and that, but when it's me... I was frightened to crowd you like I did Bex because I didn't want you ending up the same way and yet here we are. Oh my God. And you say we're moving forward?
We are in exactly the same place, you comparing me to Bex, always thinking that I'm going to mess things up just like she did. Well, isn't that what you're doing? Thought you might be a bit peckish. You didn't eat your lunch. Oh, that's dead fat, Flavia. Also, Chloe says you can have Izzy's old baby clothes. They're in the loft and the buggy. I knew there was something wrong. Tom, I feel like it's such a fake. Everyone's banging on about this baby, and I've not even thought about it. I mean, I figured up was doing all right. I've got a job and everything. Yeah, you're doing brilliantly. But all I'm doing is living for now. I mean, in a couple of months, I'm going to have another person to look after. A real person. It's called having a baby. Oh, sure. What have I been thinking? It's only natural to feel a bit panicked. I mean, Chloe was... Yeah, and Chloe didn't want one either. And you know it. She only made the best with Dante. She loves Izzy now, Janice. She wouldn't change it for the world. She was too young. I'm only a year older. And I haven't got a Dante to help me out. You'll find a way. You don't get it. I don't want it. I don't want this baby. Chris, you've discussed us with Chris. Have you been listening? It was Chris who told me about what our daughter's been up to. Of course I discussed it with him. You weren't around. I was teaching. I mean at night, when she's been out, risking her neck. But we both know what we're talking about here, so why don't we just say it, eh? Now you say it. Because I'm more concerned about our daughter than I am about your... sordid little affair. It's not sordid. Spare me the details. I really don't want to hear about it. No. You don't hear about anything. And that's part of the problem. So it's my fault, is it? I just don't know how to reach you anymore, Karen. And I'm sick of being alone. But why don't you just pack your bags and leave? I can manage on my own. How are you feeling? A lot better in some ways. Look, I'm sorry I was hard on you. It's my own fault you called my mum, and I'm actually glad you did. But, Ronan, I can't see you anymore. What, she said that? No, she didn't, I did. I thought you said you understood. I do. And it's like a weight off my shoulders. So why can't we be together? Look, it's not my mum finding out. It's how I felt before she knew. Yeah, but well, that's only because it went wrong. No. Well, yeah, but not just that. So, okay, we don't need to do anything you don't want to do. I can't go back. Look, it's not your fault. You're great. And just the way you've been, I've realised, you're just not ready for all this. But I'd like to be friends. Like you said, can't go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. Is everything all right, Mum? She's finished me. She's not even angry anymore and she's still finished me. Seems like I made a sea sense. Well, I reckon you taught me a thing or two today as well. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, well done me. Listen, please, just wait, just please, just hear me out, okay? I'm sorry, you're right, I know. I've been acting totally crazy and I know that and I just kind of dragged you into it to make it seem not as pathetic or something, I don't know. I, I just kind of 
felt like I could make it seem like it was fun. No, it's not fun, Jess. It's gross. I know. I know that. And that's how I feel inside. Did you go in the end to see the nurse? Yeah. And I'm sorry, I, I should never have even asked you. So this is all because of some bloke you met in the summer. You couldn't have him, so you're going to have everyone. Sort of, yeah. But I kind of feel like maybe I can have him. What, so you still seeing him? Well, he came to see me, right, and he was like, I don't want you seeing any other blokes. So I was like, well, you should have thought about that before you dumped me. But inside, I was like, yes. You know, look, he is bad news, babes. Look what he's done to you. No, he's really not. You've no idea. Like, Vicky, seriously, you've no idea what he has risked for me. Well, what? He's married? No, he's completely single. He's... You just don't understand. I, don't, I well, don't then know. tell me. I can't. I just can't right now. Look, just come back with me and watch a no, DVD. We'll just no, do something no, normal. No, no, I just, I just need to go to him right now and just speak to him and tell him how I feel. And then if he wants to give it a chance, then so do I. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Come in. Is Jess home? No. What about Dad? Has something happened? No, it's nothing for you to worry about. Don't eat those, Harry. You know they're rubbish. There's some fruit in the bowl. Well, it's all right. No, it's my room. Hello? It's me. Jess, what are you doing here? I, um, need to talk to you. Explain. All right. Yeah, I know. I've been here before, remember? Come on in. <laughs> Your parents are really worried about you, you know that? So? What about you? Yeah. I'm me, of course I am. Why do you think I talked to your mum about it? Because you feel something for me. Why else would you risk your job? Why would you come and see me when you think that there are other blokes? Because what you're doing is dangerous and I feel responsible. I know that I've been stupid, okay? But it's just because... Well, you said that nothing could happen and I thought you meant it and... I did mean it. I do. You're playing with fire, Jess. I know what that club is like. Yeah. So why didn't you tell my mum that bit, eh? You can grasp me up, can't you, but keep yourself out of it. I wanted to tell her as soon as I found out who you really were, but you asked me not to. Well, what do I know? I'm just a little kid, aren't I? Yes. Actually, you are. And it's becoming more and more obvious how vulnerable you really are. You need help, Jess. I need you. You're right. I'm unhappy. I am. Bex is gone and... It feels like she's the biggest thing in our family. It's like they don't care about anybody else, do you know what I mean? And sometimes I just feel like I'm disappearing. I want to go out and I meet people that like me. It just makes me feel special for once. None of them guys hang around. Neither do I, I mean... Don't want them to find out that I'm just a nobody. You're not a nobody. Don't care. Because the whole time I'm just wishing that they were somebody else. 
You. No. Jess, I am so sorry. Are you saying that you could never feel the same way? That is exactly what I'm saying. What about if I wasn't at school? It is never going to happen. Now I want you to call your mum and tell her that you're safe. Okay, love. We'll just come home. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, and don't be afraid. I love you. It's over. With Maria. I've ended it. Right. Well, what do you want me to be? Grateful? Do you realise what kind of a night I've had? What kind of a day? What kind of a year I've had? Yes, I do, Karen. That's why it started. And that's why it's over. <laughs> that's me doing the whole sexual awareness thing at school and it's my family sleeping with half of Britain. Where's Jessie? She's out of friends. When did it start? With Maria. About six months ago. How could you? I told you I was lonely. What do you think I was, you selfish man? I know. I'm sorry. Karen, I so didn't want it to be like this. Well, how did you want it to be? Oh, just go away. Go back to your girlfriend who understands you because you have made a mockery of everything we had. No, I want it back. That's why I'm here and that's why I'm not ready to give up on us. Listen, I'm, I know I've been selfish and I'm so, so sorry. I just didn't realise how distant we'd become, sweetheart. And how every waking hour with you made my heart break to vex and how angry I was and how that, how that transferred to you. You blame me. No. I don't love. I blame both of us. I couldn't run away from myself. Now, could I? Listen, I don't have any answers here. But I love my family very, very much, and I want to make this work. If you do. Finn, actually. So you'd rather spend your night with him? Uh, no, of course not. Good, because it's not like he can offer you what I can, is it? And I've been saving myself for someone special, Just Stevenson. And I think that's you, so don't let me down, yeah? 